Good morning everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. I'm still on vacation, but before I tell you where I am, don't forget the rules. You know what? I'm not gonna give you my speech of the rules. Don't worry about it. Let the intro come out and tell you what we're doing right now. This is a little rum taste that we're doing today at the rum club. But thank you. This barrel has a unique story to it. El Mundo always wanted a free and independent Puerto Rico. What you consider with the official order? He was under free and independent Puerto Rico, and he in the late 40s, early 50s made a batch of rums. And he said, when Puerto Rico becomes independent, we're taking these barrels to the town square here in Bayamon, and we're celebrating independence. This is a lone wolf. In 1952 was the year we became officially a Commonwealth of the United States, and his dream went up with the angels. Uh, so basically, this barrel is not to be touched until a historic moment happens. What if it, uh, what if that's uh, it becoming a state? That's why it's a historic moment. Okay. I don't, I don't want to say independence anymore, just right. because it's not going to happen. This is where they used to the keep the storage of the rum. Right here. The information of how long, how old is the barrel, how long has been tested. When was it push? When was it shut down? The last time they sold that was 13. That thing has a lot of rum. Can I take one home for me, please? One for me? I'll just take one. It'll last me a week in this case. <laughs> they have, this is the warehouse number three. Look at that. But I wonder how do they bring this down? How do they bring this down? That's an amazing question. We will be visiting her in a few minutes. It's a part of the evidence. Now, I have a question for you guys. Second pop quiz. <laughs> if we're going to change a barrel on the fourth level, how are we just wondering now? I'm trying to see how you bring it down. That's, okay. <laughs> That's a new one for me. I love it. But unfortunately, no. <laughs> I mean, they're really wrong. I'm sure you're not going to say that there's like one of those cranes like in a Walmart that just goes right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll go down the forklift with Donkey Kong. That's the best one I've heard so far. I love it. I want to use that in my tour and every time I do, I want to think of you. You know that's true. Why not? It's tricky. I'll explain that in a second as well. Okay. Uh, basically, if we're going to change a barrel on the fourth level, I said very carefully. A skinny guy will climb up into the ladder, put a middle contraption on the support beam, tie ropes to the barrel, and about two or three guys in a pulley system will lift it up, they'll swing it up, and lower it down. We do this process empty. Once the barrel is empty, we'll pump all the rum out of it, then that's when the process gets done. To, do, to place the barrels there, the same thing happens. We'll place the barrel there empty first, then pump the rum in. Because 200 pounds going to the fourth level is one thing, but 1,200, yeah. I think we need to be going for that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's how that is done. The oh. leakage uh, for the barrels, uh, that is something So they empty it out before they could bring the barrel years. down. That's very interesting. interesting. Yeah, a lot of work too. 
uh, the ROM is exiting and basically plotting the latest cell like you would look up with the uh, Stopping that leak naturally. Because remember, if we put anything artificial on these barrels, the, the wood would absorb it and transmit it to the ROM, but we don't want that. That's why if you ever buy a small little barrel for your house and take your pet drum and eat the drums in, never put any finishes on there because it will affect and suffocate the ROM that's inside. That's amazing. Now let's go see the oldest barrel and visit her. <laughs> With white rum. That's never touched a barrel, just this wood. It was sitting there and then the were used together for about three weeks. Once that happens, this rum will be taken back of house, and sent into the tanks, and will dilute the rum to win purified green water. We call that green water here, they said white water in every day. And we had an example this morning, and we drill them for a little while, and it comes out like nothing happened at all. We collect that rainwater, go we'll here, higher, demineralize it basically. This is where they put the rum after it comes out of the barrel for three weeks. It stays in those things for three weeks, and they have the things to drink. And that's when we'll finish the barrel again, we'll turn it the barrels until uh, we're ready to block. This is where everything starts. Sugarcane plantation. Where we have sugarcane, we have rum. Back then, the rum that was being made was very informal, very harsh, like a moonshine. Basically, after a hard day's work in the fields, you get drink with it. Wake up the next the day, you're all over again. Created this but to live there. The one of his sons lives in so that the house. That's the original house. He's 87 years old, right? 87? As he was working as an engineer here in Bayamon, on the side he would make rocks. Every time he would make a small batch of rock, he would store a small barrel. Friends or family would come to the house, he would grab the barrel, pass it out to everybody. They're getting on the electric. After the engineer was out of there, he would go home where everybody used to come back to the house. This is another drink. My drink is good. It's called El Casador. What time is it? It's called 48. Is your father up? No. This is good. This is good rum. Is it really good rum? It, and it tastes like um, it, you could taste like a syrup in it. I would almost put this over some some pancakes. <laughs> they said you can. Um... How's the rum tasting going, guys? Are you enjoying? This is a, this is actually I this the one before was two stars. This is a three star now. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't be three starring up the bill. Go a little What the bill. fuck? I would have went. Just took four shots of this room. But yeah, I don't I like think we'd be safe glass. if we went to Jimmy's bar, it seems like liquor store with him. Right? Am I right? You think our room taste was a success? Thank God they give you little backup drinks because if not, I'd be dead. <laughs> You'd die. <laughs> The rum del barter, bar, barrelito, barrelito. Barrelito. The Spanish I music that I come from. Barrelito, the rum, barrelito. That's the house that they were showing us earlier, where the guy lives. He's 87 years old. Still, pretty big house for just one person. I wonder if I could go over and take, ask him for some of that good rum. Can I 
I'd be like, hello, I'm here for some rum. Can I have some rum, please? 